all right so we are back to try it now we are here in the playoffs we're getting into round two here Connor bedard up at nine points seven games so we're looking pretty good now it looks like we're gonna be facing probably tampa bay yeah probably tampa i think if i had to guess we're we're facing tampa right now let's see so we're gonna advance two days that's where the first game should be we got tampa in round number two so let's go let's go see uh ahl so the hl team did go ahead and win their series as well all right so all right so we gotta go here to view lines all right so we want to go to tampa bay all right who draw off point Caulfield. They have Cole Caulfield on that first line. So not as good as they used to be. I think we have a better team than them. I really do. All right, let's check defense. Sergachev's up at a 90. We got that covered with uh, Cider. Chernak, we have better with Lackanen. Lindholm is the same as Gerard, And we got a deeper team. Now, do they still have... Yeah, they still have Vasilevsky. So they got us in net for sure. But I think we have them in skaters for sure so i don't think there's anything we want to do let's just verify our lines look good what do we got here yep that all looks good to me uh the only switch i might do is marchenko up for hoglander but even then like hoglander 89 91 90 91 yeah marchenko definitely has better shooting so maybe just to get more goals out of those top two lines. Yeah, we might be better off doing like that. Let's try that like that. Let's try it. We'll see a game. We'll see if there's any production there. If not, we'll just go back to what won us series number one. So, all right. They were a 50 win team. That's okay. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to hop straight into game number one. All right, here we go. I think we take the series. I really think we do. All right, period number one. One to one. Savan gets a power play goal. Okay, Yelonen gets an uh, even strength goal. Second period here. They end up scoring a lot. Strom scores a power play. So we have two power play goals, but their offense seems to be pretty overpowering. All right, let's see. Third period here. They have a power play. We kill it off. We have a power play. Ah. Sorelli scores a power play goal. We have a power play. We get one back with Hoglander on the PP. All right. We got to get two back. Let's see. All right. Yeah, nothing. We got nothing. All right. Game number one to them. All right, let's see. So I do want to see, was there crazy minuses with that with that second line? Let's see here no that second line was fine yeah that second line was fine but if the third line is struggling with hoglander on it we might just want to switch it back yeah i think we're gonna switch it back we're gonna test it see how it goes if we lose again we're switching it back to marchenko on second line and we're just trying to run with it if we win we're gonna leave it so cider has an injured shoulder may 9th that's probably only like a week but we wanna we don't want to give up any games here. So we're gonna go Gerard up with Lackanen. We're gonna go Kolosov up. Yeah, this is the part that's gonna suck is getting that minus three on the bottom line. Yep. It's gonna be rough. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do head coach preferred. Alright, yeah, I mean nothing really we can do about that, huh? Nope, nothing really we can do about that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at even strength offense. All right, but we want Marchenko on the top. There we go. All right. All right. And let's go ahead and hop into game number two here. So here we go. Sim game. All right. Period number one. 3 to 1, Kucherov and LeBanc. Gavin gets a goal on that second line. Period number 2. 
Nothing. All right, so let's see. Got to get one here. There we go. Kyle Clegg. Wow, Kyle Clegg, really. All right, Rasmussen. We're getting depth production here. That's big. I know we had the bigger, uh, we had the better depth. That's for sure. Let's see. I'm going to drink of water really quick. All right. We won. I'm leaving it. Yep. We won. I'm leaving it. It's staying this way. All right. So how long until sides is back? Let's see. Uh, Patrick, a line has an injured shoulder May 11th. We just best lines it for now, I guess. All right. Yeah. Cause line a that screws up the whole thing. So we'd probably move Hoglander or like Savan up to line one anyways. So. We would have to fill them in a certain way. All right. We have two top liners out now. Let's see. Going into game number three. We're back on. We're at home ice now. We took one off of them in Florida. So that's good. Period number one. We're up one nothing. Hoglander there. All right. Period number two. Still up one nothing. All right. Let's see here. This guy, whoever he is, goes ahead and scores. We have a long power play. Nothing happening. All right. And then they get a goal right after Joel and Minson. All right. Let's see. We do kill off a penalty. All right. And nothing. Oh, man. All right. So. All right. Hang on. I feel like I got an itch in my... All right. So we lose one on home ice. Go ahead and hop to game four. I would like to take this one because then Cider's back for game five. All right, period number one. They go up one nothing. Braden point. Period number two. We tie it up, but then they, they go up a goal a minute later. All right, let's see here. All right, we got to get one. Another long power play, and we can't get anything. That's line A. Line A and Cider hurt, really hurts the power play. Another power play late in the game. That's our, oh, that was our chance, man. All right, that was a big kill from them. Wow. All right. We're down, what? That's 3-1 in the series now, right? All right. Mmm, that hurts. All right. So, let's get up here. Cider should be back. Yep. All right, let's best lines it. Ugh. All right. Let's check. All right. Period number one, Cider's back in the lineup. We go up one nothing, Hoglander. Period number two. All right, Zegers put us up two. Nick Paul gets them back within one. Let's see here. Got to hold this one. Let's hold. Ah, Braden point. All right. Oh, no, that's them. No, we don't drop around two and five, right? Power play? And they get a shorty. And that's it. That's the Red Wings playoff berth. Ouch. All right. Well. Hmm. All right. Um, yeah, that hurts. Five, five game loss. All right. Well, let's get some off season stuff done. Patrick line is fully healed. Cool. All right, does the AHL team win? Let's go ahead and start. AHL team is going. All right, wait. They're actually, they're playing really well right now. Let's go ahead and check this. They're in the conference finals against the San Diego Gulls. They've only lost one game. Let's go ahead and jump up to game number four here. Game number one, 3-2 three, win. 4-3 three, loss. Christian Bakos is injured. Oof. All right. We're up 2-1 to one in the series. Let's go ahead and hop to game number five. Tied two to two in the series. Get past game number. Oh, down three to two in the series. Let's see. Can they take this game? They do. All right. They got a game seven here. 
Let's see. We're just going to do it. We're not going to do the slow sim of the third period, but we are going to do it period by period. Let's see how this goes. Period number one. They go up two nothing. Period number two. They go up four to one. Period number three. And they're up five to two. They get into the Calder Cup finals. All right. Here we go. AHL teams in the Calder Cup finals. That's good for Bakos, but he's injured. That's unfortunate. All right, so that was game seven, so it should be right here. They're playing against, oh, the Bridgeport Islanders who swept their series. They've still lost more games than we have. All right, let's get up to game number four here. Uh, looks like a loss, an OT loss, a loss. Do they sweep us too? Do they sweep the last two rounds? No, they don't quite sweep the last two rounds. Let's see. Can we push it to game number five? We push it to game five. Okay. Can we push it to game number six? Ah, they beat us in game six. But that's pretty good for them. That should be a pretty good... Uh... Salary cap's now at 101.405. All right. And yeah, we don't have a first round pick this year at all. So that's okay. Let's check out retirements here. Let's see. All right, I'm not worried about draft class. We don't have any picks. The retired players. Now, I... I mean, we gave up picks. I mean, we weren't a cup contender, but we definitely had a better season than last, considering missing the playoffs. Uh, Pavelski, Shifley, Landeskog, Zabinijad, Evander Kane, Petrangelo, Saad, Granlund, Riley Smith. All right. Uh, what about any notable goalies? Let's see. Bobrovsky retired. Darcy Kemper, Peter Morazic. All right. Casey DeSmith. Interesting. All right. All right. That's our retirees. All right. Uh, Connor Kanapka and Peter Meze for coaches. We're going to hire some new coaches. We don't need pre-draft interviews. All right. Let's go ahead and get this draft done. All right, hop right into this. I know the lighting's a little odd. I want some light in the room, so I have the window open, but let's see. Uh, pick 122. So we're going all the way. We don't have anything to trade for picks. Now, I mean, so let's realistically just look. I'd be fine with offloading for low picks and or like random players, but let's see here. So we've got now any contracts we need to offload. We're at 6.5. Uh, we got to sign Gavin to a contract. Let's see here. So, yeah, anyone on a bad contract here? I mean, Rasmussen's on a decent contract. Anyone on a bad one here? Dylan Strom is on a bad one. We want to move Dylan Strom. Okay. Uh, other than that, Kyle Clegg. We could probably move Clegg for... Anaheim wants him? Sure, we can go ahead and look at Anaheim. Do you guys need him, though? Is it realistic? Nah, you guys have enough NHL defensemen. You know what? Instead of doing it this way, we're going to go ahead and call a timeout. All right, we got seven minutes. So we're going to go ahead and find trade Kyle Clay. He doesn't fit with the chemistry anyway. So let's go ahead and find Clay in here. See, Kyle Clegg, add asset, fine trade. We're going to pretty much take anything. Let's see here. Uh, Anaheim, a fifth, and McNeil, a fourth, and a guy we wouldn't have to re-sign. Straight up a fourth. A fourth in Zimino, Sima, Simono, a guy we wouldn't have to re-sign. Morgan Geeky. I mean, I honestly wouldn't mind that, because we could just... Uh... Let's go ahead and grab. I like these kind of deals where like it's a guy I don't necessarily have to sign, but I can if I want to. So let's go ahead and do that. I like the St. Louis one. Ryan Poling, I'm good with that. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and check for any more. So anyone down in here that has a bad contract? I think it was Strom. Yeah, I don't want to be putting six mil into an 84. So let's go ahead and try to find a deal for Strom. Let's see here. Let's see here. What do we got? So a second and a third and Jarvis. I wouldn't mind that. 
restocks our picks a little bit yeah i like that a lot we're gonna take that yeah 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 all right strom's gone we clear that cap off let's see we're just gonna sort by cost amount let's see yeah honestly i don't think there's anything realistic we can do here i think we have decent contracts here so we're gonna go ahead and i think we're leaving it here let's see let's go here i don't think there's anything else we need to do b check and diagle are ready for nhl so realistically moving kachetkov wouldn't be bad yeah we're gonna move kachetkov yeah 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 all right so let's see a second rounder for 2030 hmm nolan patrick no, we don't have space for him. Jared McCann in a fifth. I kind of like this deal right here. Yeah, I kind of like this deal right here. A second, a fourth, and Rosen. Yeah, I like that deal. Let's do it. There we go. All right, we clear off Kachetkov as well. Because we're going to have to sign Bicek and Diagle. So, we should have the money to do that now. Malhi... I uh, can go ahead and do AHL time with Spoonar. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and sign Reed this year. He can also play down there. Um. All right, so I think we're good on trades now. So let's just go ahead and honestly, I mean, round four being the earliest, there's not really going to be anything left. So we're just going to send the draft. This is not a year that we're drafting. All right, we're good. All right, let's see here. Now I don't know why it shows there. Let's just check out the names that were drafted, not Dallas. Ramo, Thalberger, and Alsner. All right, keep those names in mind. We'll see if any of them, for some reason, came out to be fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the resign phase here. All right, let's uh, swap back to NHL. I don't know if that's going to be weird. Let's see here. All right. So let's go ahead and sim to resign phase here. A bunch of scouts will have to uh bunch of scouts will have to resign here that's okay all right so let's go ahead and hop in here let's get some of this resigning done all right so we're looking at marchenko now we have 20 mil in cap space all right so let's just go to all expiring all right so bremberg i feel like is a must pull back what does he want though Three at 6.5. What does Gavin want? Gavin wants six at 6.2. So I feel like. All right. So personally, I feel like. Marchenko, Bremberg, and Gavin are going to be the guys we re sign. Oh, he wants 8.2. Mm hmm. That's rough. Okay, so let's see here. Let's try to find clear cut first and second liners here. We got. Hmm. I don't know, because I mean, first line and then second line. Can Hoglander take face offs? No. Can Line? No. Can Marchenko? No. Savan, kind of, yeah. Bedard, he can actually, Bedard can take face-offs now. Ooh, I mean, first line forward, first line forward, that's hard to put one of them on the second line, but I could. All right, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to sign Marchenko. He's going to be a second line player for us. Uh, He does want an extension, but is 8 mil worth it? Um, or would Gavin be smarter? Keep him on the second line because he'll probably get an increase in overall. We can get him for cheaper. All right, let's try like 5.7. We'll try 5.7 at six for Gavin. Marchenko, you're going to go ahead and go to free agency. That's fine. Um, Tracy, how much do you want? Or Sharon Govich, how much do you want? So I could probably get Sharon Govich at like 2.8. We'll try to grab him like that. 
Tracy. I could probably get him at like 3.6. Let's try him at 3.6. All right. Uh, polling. No. Um, Hannes. Can you get a two way? Yep. You can get a two way. All right. Niederbach. You can get a two way. That's good. All right. So we're just going to advance day really quickly. And let's see. So someone did reject. Was that Gavin that rejected? I think it was. It was indeed Gavin that rejected. So we still have 18 mil in cap space. So let's see. Does Gavin, he does want an extension. Let's see. Six at 5.85. Let's try that. All right, so all these guys will be able to get signed. We're not worried about these guys for now. Okay, so let's see. So Klein, Rowe, and Dimitrakos. Now we can leave those guys for now. Um, okay, we'll get into all those guys at the bottom later. Uh, Tracy, we're going to go ahead and drop. All right, so let's see. What about defensemen? We still have Bremberg to sign. Okay, so let's go ahead and advance day. Uh, uh, he's still rejected. Okay, so let's see. What does Bremberg want? Let's go three at 6.2, maybe. That'll be a good deal. All right. So then let's go ahead and hop back to forwards. I do want Gavin back. So we're going to give him six at six. I'm good with that. Let's check here. Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, and then out of vein and we can have at six. That's good with me. Uh, we'll do two at 2.5. We'll do two at 2.6. That's fine with me. All right, let's check and see if these guys sign now. Remember Gavin and, uh, no, out of vein. I can get someone for cheaper in free agency. So we'll go ahead and release. Harris, I can get on a two-way. All right, so now let's just start checking all these two ways. To a Misto on a two-way. All right, so we're talking, this is AHL, so one, two, three. Was well, there anyone specifically we need playing? So we have one, two, three, four. All right, let's see. Um, We might want to get this beta guy playing. Eh, no, so we've got one, two, three, four. Johansson at five. All right, and then we can go ahead and grab uh, Perchik and Hodas. Yep, that's good with me. Oh, that's a one way. I didn't want to give him that. No, two way. Sure, we can do a two way at one mil. That's fine. Um. I can't even release him now that I offered him a contract. All right, goalies. So this is what we're worried about here. So let's go on advanced day. Okay, so we have 45 contracts. So we need B-Check and Diego back. But B-Check doesn't want that much. Diego doesn't want that much. Okay, perfect. Woo. All right, so B-Check will go ahead and offer a contract. Two at 1.2 is fine for me. And then Diagol, same thing. That is fine with me. All right, let's see. So let's just go to unsigned here. Or all expiring. Yeah, okay. So. Okay, realistically, it's advanced day again. Yep, okay. Yep, signed and signed. Okay, so we have one more. We have today to sign. So we have 8 million cap space. Let's see what we're looking at total for forwards in the main roster. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've got 11, theoretically, with Rosen. Theoretically, we could play Hannes. Cross Hannes in the NHL as well. But we have some money to work with. What about defensemen here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're looking for a 6 defenseman. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, and six for sure. So Perchik can go ahead and be released. All right, Baker can go ahead and be released. Okay, not worried about any of those guys. Let's do the same thing for forwards. 
So it would be Hannes would be 12. We're looking at one, two, three. All right, let's see here. I loop in. Paul, we can go ahead and offer. Helping in, we can go ahead and offer. All right, Schubert, we can go ahead and offer. Andreasen, we can go ahead and offer. Gallant, we can offer. That's a one-way. I don't like that at all. Wagner, you want a two-way? Nope, we'll give you a one-way at 9-5, or two-way at 9-5. That's fine. Okay, Cameron, we'll go ahead and do two-way. Go ahead and do two-way. Right, anybody else? No, we can release the guys under 70. I'm not worried about these guys. Mm, yeah, no, these guys can be released. Release. Release. Okay, so I think we're good here. All right, so what are we looking for in the NHL? We need another NHL forward. So probably just a bottom liner. Yeah, we're looking at, well, maybe like a third liner, like an 82 overall would be good. So let's go ahead and try to find that. Uh, we're still in resign phase. Okay, so yeah, let's go to free agency now. All right, so we're fine with that. We're fine with that. We can find, we can find scouts. All right, so we're in free agency now. So we need... A third line forward. I uh, see. What are we working with here? So we want UFAs for sure. All right. So let's go just to forwards. Here we go. We're looking for like someone down in here that doesn't want too much money. Let's see. Someone down in here would be good. JJ Petarka. Yeah. JJ Petarka would be perfect. Okay, let's see. So a one way, we'll go ahead and give him a one way at like 1.5 for one year. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right, there we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and okay, okay, okay. So we've got, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at defense here. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. So we're just looking at defense. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need a third line defenseman here. All right. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and go to free agents. We need that third line defender. Go ahead and just hop to defenseman. UFAs here. All right. Sort by overall. Now we're looking for someone down here who's not asking for a lot. Uh, ghost? No, not ghost. We don't want ghost. Mm. Yeah, someone like Rathbone wouldn't be bad. Kolyachinuk wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I think Rathbone is going to be a good option. Let's try just one year, but we can give him like 1.85. Hopefully he'll take that. All right. So I think that's all we need. We got our goalie son. We got our defensemen and forwards. That should be everything. So let's go ahead and advance days. Just see if we can get those guys. All right. Let's see here. Should be today. Maybe tonight. All right. Looks like we got them both. All right. Let's go ahead and. So oh, we need coaches. We need coaches. Decline trade. Cancel simulation. All right, yeah, we need coaches and scouts, coaches and scouts. All right, so we're looking for an NHL assistant coach. So let's go ahead and hire coach. All right, NHL assistant here. All right, we're here. All right, I'm thinking the A in power play is probably, or A plus and PK. Yeah, we'll go A plus and PK. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. 666. Perfect. NHL assistant coach. All right. So we need AHL. 
I mean, NHL associate coach. All right, so let's see here. We would ideally like someone young. Let's go for this 45-year-old. Uh, even PK right here. We'll go with this guy. Yeah, I like this guy. All right, we'll go 530. NHL associate coach. All right. And then we need a goalie coach. So let's see. AHL goalie coach. Anyone in here? Nope. No one associate. No one is specializing in goalies. How about in assistance? Yeah, I mean, anyone not all the way down there? I mean, we got a D in Kuznetsov. Let's try it. Uh, AHL goalie coach. All right. 450. What are we looking at here? All right, so. All right. Okay, I think that's all coaches, but. You know, is there any way in the settings we can do higher staff as auto? Let's see settings. Okay, let's see. Rules. Okay, any setting here that shows auto staff management on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we like that. All right, so... All right, so we put auto staff management on auto. All right, so I think we're good now. Let's go ahead and just sim next season. That a trade will probably come up. Yep, we're going to decline and edit. All right, let's go ahead and take all of this off. All right, and then get rid of the surpluses here. All right, so there we go. All right. Let's go ahead and hop to next season. Alright, so, I mean, realistically, going into the season, I think we have our work cut out for us. I think we're a good team. I don't think we are, uh, I don't think we're worried about it. I think we're going to be a playoff team again. I don't see any reason why not. Alright, so, edit lines. Let's see what people ended up as. Hopefully, Gavin got a nice jump. Gavin stayed at 85. Bakos jumped up to an 83. Okay. Bedard's at a 91 instead of a 90. Savan's up at a 90. Line is at an 89. Hoglander's at an 89. Check defense here. We got Cider, 91. Lackanen. Okay, so we're looking pretty good here. Now, I do want Lackanen with him. Let's see. What does this do? Yeah, we'll go ahead and even put Gerard all the way on the bottom. I'm good with that. Now, so realistically, this looks fine to me. I don't see any reason. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and hop back to NHL. Let's just go take a peek here. Scratched Rasmussen and Hannes. So Rasmussen, we're going to put over Soderblom, and then we should still be good. I'll go ahead and pause Paterka over him. Now Soderblom for Rasmussen, probably... Let's see. Realistically, I think that might change the chem. That's still a plus one, so we're still good. Okay. So, realistically, I mean, this looks like a playoff team to me. No reason for it not to be. We've got a lot going for us here. This might hurt us. Okay, so Diego's going to get starting time over B-check. All right, so roll a starting goalie. B-check roll backup goalie. Perfect. 
and his reflexes got better. B checks did. What about Diagle? Still 79 glove high. 67 poise. All right, we'll see how he simulates. I'm not sure how that's going to go. But realistically, we should be good. Okay, so we're up at next season. Uh, I think that is where I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you think there's anything I should do with the lines, any trades I should make, any players I should off like offload or go get. So go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.